I usually try to keep things as positive and motivational as possible on my channel because that's how I like to be, that's how I like to live life. And I recognize that this topic, this video doesn't quite fit into that, um, but it's something that I've got to get off my chest. And more importantly, I think this could be useful for somebody out there. This is a topic I don't see a lot of people talk about on the internet. And this is hard for me to talk about because this experience had such an impact on me. You know, I went through a dark period in my life uh, because of what happened. It's a really complicated story. It's not black and white. But again, if I can help somebody out there from sharing these sorts of experiences, uh, then it's all worth it to me. Okay, so some background first. A little over a couple of years ago, I moved to Argentina to live with a host family of four uh, for three months. It was an au pair kind of situation where I would help out for 15 hours a week, uh, teaching English, taking care of the kids, in exchange for food, a place to live and sleep, and the rest of my time free. From my point of view, I more than fulfilled my obligations, but I think secretly they wanted me to speak English all the time. Um, but unfortunately, I was there to study Spanish and I was clear about my intentions even before I arrived. So the person in question here is my host father. Uh, he was a really articulate, charismatic guy. He could tell excellent stories at parties. You know, he would captivate your attention. Things started out really well. I felt welcomed. Uh, overall, I was really enjoying my experience. And, you know, I respected my host father. He built up my trust. I wanted him to respect me and in a way kind of like, you know, approve of me. Over time though, things shifted and I can only see this clearly in retrospect, you know, looking back. He was a really demanding guy, very manipulative, very manipulative. He would use long silences to make me feel stupid or use things that I would say or do against me. I felt like I was always doing something wrong, screwing things up, and it kind of felt like I was falling into his mental traps. Again, I can only say that looking back. At the time, I had no idea. I didn't realize it at the time, but he didn't like me, okay? There was something about me that rubbed him the wrong way. I think we had very different worldviews. I think he didn't really like my personality and neither he nor I knew how to handle his dislike for me. I think it's important to mention that that feeling was really foreign to me. I grew up in a home where both of my parents loved me unconditionally. I could have turned out any other way and they would have loved me the same. Um, I've always had freedom and space to make mistakes and be myself and express my opinions. And the same goes for any friends that I've ever had. Um, anybody else or anything else I would immediately remove from my life. On top of it, I had had several host families in my time in France uh, a couple years before and everything had gone really well. You know, they honestly feel like family to me now. I honestly thought that I was pretty adaptive and knew how to follow rules. But the problem here was that my host father in Argentina had beliefs and opinions that were set in stone. Pretty much either you agreed with him or you were wrong. You know, he was super critical of America. Um, I saw him be very critical of other people, kind of like he looked down on other people. Things evolved really quickly and the thing was, there was no communication. You know, it was almost like I had to sort of figure out what was going on and all of it was very uncomfortable. You know, I'm very vocal. I tried bringing it up. I tried asking what was going on, if there were things that I needed to change or fix. Um, but again, it was kind of like it was up to me to figure things out. And I know it sounds like I'm describing a different person from the charming human that I met and spoke about two minutes ago. And that's exactly how I felt. So this dynamic really created a very unhealthy mind game that has messed with me for a long time. I'm a people pleaser. I don't like to let people down. And I was blaming myself uh, for everything. I thought I was the reason everything was going wrong and my self-esteem and self-confidence fell off a cliff. And the situation just kept spiraling. Dude, it, oh my God, it just got so out of control. I just wanna pause right there and say that we as human beings have intrinsic value, okay? That's not the same as economic value or anything else. You're worth something. If anyone in your life makes you feel as horribly as I felt, they shouldn't be in your life. You need to do something before the damage is done. Another part of this is that I let my self-image be completely manipulated. I lacked the self-respect and the self-confidence that I needed to be able to handle the situation. If you're utterly reliant on the love and support of others and external praise all the time, kind of like I was, you're doomed to go through what I went through because you're going to cross paths with somebody who's not going to give it to you. And maybe that's a rite of passage, but whatever the case may be, I realized that my self-respect and self-belief are sacred and I should never give them away. So my last month in that home is kind of a blur now. I, there were parts of myself that I was shutting down. Um, I was kind of entering this sort of like sleepwalk mode and I was just emotionally numbing myself out. 
And that's the really scary part. I saw firsthand that you can seek material pleasures, but that is not going to solve any of your problems. Um, I was running, but I couldn't hide, not from myself. You know, you can't hide from yourself. And I think back to that period, and I'm like, who was that person, you know? That's what is really terrifying to me. And I think that planted the seeds for where I am now, because it feels like I'm doing the exact opposite. I'm trying to dig deeper emotionally and figure things out and think critically about stuff. I wanna say it was one of the worst periods of my entire life. Um, at the very least, it was one of the most confusing phases I've ever gone through. And I had tried so hard to please him that I had bent myself completely out of shape. But I'm extremely grateful for those experiences because I could see stuff that maybe I was hiding from myself or that I didn't like about myself so, so clearly. It was staring me in the face. Like I couldn't, I couldn't run anymore. I walked away with a vision and an example of a person that lives their life full of negativity and manipulation. And that's actually an extremely valuable thing that I've been using as a compass for myself on how to live my own life. You know, the things that I want to steer away from, the things I don't want to become. That's huge and I'm really grateful to have that valuable knowledge, that valuable information. And the thing is like, yeah, okay, so this guy always had to be the best. He always had to make other people feel terrible about themselves. He always had to be right. But you know, I let him do that. And I'm not saying I should have fought him or whatever. It was his home. It was never my place to question him anyway. But I should have quit, you know? Sometimes it's okay to quit. Sometimes it's okay to move on and say, look, we're not a good match. Let's just move on with our lives. I've just always had this like, never say die, don't quit attitude, and I wanted to go through with the whole thing. I've learned a lot and continue to learn a lot about self-forgiveness and self-acceptance for past mistakes so that you can move forward with your life. I can't say I've fully like forgiven this guy or moved on, uh, because look, I'm talking about it two years later, but I work towards that every day, and there is a part of me that, that feels sorry for him because this is like all he knows. And if this sounds like anybody in your life, You've got to do something about it. You've either got to speak up and communicate and share how you feel, or you've got to remove this negative influence from your life. I did neither of those things, and I paid a really high emotional price. You are the only person that can stand up for yourself. I apologize for such a long video. Um, it's a very loaded story for me, and I did my best to retell it concisely. It feels wrong to do a whole lot of self-promotion after a video of this nature, so I'll just say that if you want to see more honest content, kind of like this video, consider subscribing to this channel. And thanks for watching.